Hello and welcome to episode 1 of Game Programming 101. I'm your guide, your coding sensei, Powerhack, and boy oh boy, do I have a video for you. In this crash course, we'll cover variables, loops, functions, a bit of object-oriented programming, arrays, dictionaries, and even some debugging. Don't worry if these terms sound like alien speak right now. In this part, we're going in-depth into variables and data types. So buckle up and get ready to transform your brain into a lean mean coding machine. Let's miss the real MVPs of any program, variables. Think of them like little containers for data. Variables are like that drawer in your kitchen. You know, the one that somehow holds everything from batteries to expired medications. In JDScript, declaring the variable is as easy as slapping a label on a box. And just like that, my name is Powerhack. Now, let's talk about what kinds of things you can store in these boxes. These are called data types. There are two main types you need to know. Primitive data types and complex data types. Let's start with primitive data types. Think of these as your basic building blocks. They are simple, they get the job done, and they are used in pretty much every program. We've got integers. These are whole numbers, no decimals allowed. Floats. These are numbers with decimals, perfect for precise measurements. Strings. These are words, sentences, or any group of characters, useful for storing text. Booleans. These guys are simple, true or false, yes or no, one or zero. Now, let's talk about complex data types. These are more sophisticated versions of primitive data types designed to store more complex information. You've got arrays or lists. Like the name implies, it's a list of different pieces of data. It's perfect for keeping track of multiple values. Dictionaries. Kind of like how every word in a real dictionary has its definition, every piece of data or value has a unique label or key. Vectors. These store 2D and 3D points or directions. Handy when you're making games and need to know where something is on the screen or in 3D space. These data types are usually found in frameworks for game development or simulations. Let's throw an example in JD scripts and see how it all comes together. Here we are juggling both primitive and complex data types like a pro. Notice how the array holds multiple items, in this case, sword potion and shield, and dictionaries store information in pairs like health and mana. Oh, and don't forget Vector 2, it's your best friend in 2D game development, helping you move things around without getting lost in space. So to recap, variables are containers for data, they are different types of data, you've got your primitive data types for simple data, and your complex data types for, well, more complex data. And that you know how to store data, perhaps you would like to do things with them. What would you like me to post next? A quick reminder to like and subscribe to follow the series, and that the link to our Discord is in the description below. Thanks for watching.